Coming to the end of November 2023 and today we'll be taking a look at what's been going on in the single car market because let's be honest things have not been going very well indeed especially for the sword and shield era however some of the cards in the skull and violet era have been doing pretty decent and sun and moon has also been taking a hit what has been going on get into it all right guys we are towards the end of november i mean this year has gone incredibly quick but today we'll be taking a look at a bunch of cards on tcg player from three different eras we're going to be looking at scarlet and violet sword and shield and sun and moon you know the most recent ones now is really to be honest the best time to pick up some of these cards because they have been dropping but there have been some cards that kind of are fighting against this trend at the moment where everything's going down there are some which are continuously going up and we're going to find out what they are Let's get to the first one the okay, first one we're looking at is the iron valiant ex from paradox rift this is the special illustration right now paradox rift has been doing actually better than i anticipated to be honest it's been doing better than most of the other skull and violet era sets now skull and violet base there is barely any value in that but they involved is doing pretty pretty well you know normal honesty obsidian flames has fallen 151 is doing incredibly well so i was thinking maybe paradox rift might do okay but it was all down to the pull rates right and the pull rates are tough this is a beautiful card coming in at 69 nearly 70 dollars and it has been doing pretty well since its release i mean it came out at a pre-order price around 50. it went up and then it dropped a little bit and then it's just shot up recently which is actually pretty good going like we take a closer look at this and we can see the real big climb i mean from 50 to basically 70 dollars already that's a really good you know tick up from usually when a set comes out cards drop in value we've seen it all the time but there seems to be some cards in some sets that kind of beat this trend and that's really interesting and this is a gorgeous looking card anyway but it is quite tough to pull and we have seen what the pull rates are like in this set and to get a specific special illustration rare it's like one in 700 packs which is just absolutely insane so this is a beautiful card it has gone up by about 20 dollars in the past month from where it started which was at 50 that's actually pretty good return right there right on to sun and moon this is an interesting one misty's favor so we got the waifu craze you know the sun and moon things are falling in sun and moon i'll be doing a video on them soon but there is a lot of cards i'm talking all art tag team i'm talking big trainer cards all of them are pretty much dropping across the board and some of them have been dropping by a decent amount i know it's crazy even team up cards so let's get into misty's favor this is from unified minds we know unified minds is a fantastic set sealed boxes have been going up i did a video recently going through the sealed product of sun and moon went through all of the booster boxes and they've all been going up but the single card prices that they are falling this card is now at 166 dollars recently uh, i mean it's still really expensive you know still <laughs> not cheap card by any means but it was 185 so we go back six months we can get a rough indication it's been doing pretty well and then it has dropped to go back in the past year yes this card is up overall and that is obviously very good the fact it did double in value you know over the past year is incredible but the, we can't deny the fact that it has had a 20 dollar drop in the past month and that's actually a decent amount of money you know you're looking at just over 10 percent drop in a month is this sign of similar to what's happening with sword and shield where all these cards are just going to keep falling this is kind of hype this craze is slowly subsided things are slowly going back to normal who knows but keep a close eye on some of these cards okay this one kind of came out of nowhere i did see this recently i saw somebody selling an entei v just the normal v from brilliant stars for what was probably i think it was like maybe 10 11 pounds and i was thinking wait a minute what's going on why is they selling this card for that much and it was getting sold it was getting snatched up left right and center on ebay prices were going up i was like hey what's going on with entei big playable card and it's having a massive impact on the market price of it and like ten dollars for a normal v is very good like it is very very good i mean look this card was like a dollar a dollar fifty and then bang it just went up so if you have ntvs from brilliant stars sell them just just offload them like crazy i mean people clearly need them for their decks right now you know because the playability is there this is a perfect example of when to sell we saw it in the past with other cards like the regilecki we've also seen it with the muse from fusion strike now is a great time to offload some of these entes because well hey you got 10 nearly 10 times your value if you pick these up we you know it's just crazy it's just absolutely crazy so yeah there you go just a little v card doing really well now's a great time to sell
Pidgeot EX. This is the opposite. Uh, this one's been falling like crazy. Obsidian Flames, big card. You know, it's a big hit to get. You know, nice hit. Price, though, doesn't reflect that, right? $7 for this card. That is rough. It is an awesome artwork. And I mean, the whole line, Pidgeot, 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 it looks amazing. $7, guys. Obsidian Flames, I hate to say it, is eventually, I mean, slowly, anyway, getting to Darkness of Blaze levels. Where it's either the big boy Charizard, and even here, even though he is dropping in price, everything else is pretty poor. And this card has dropped by over 50% from 15 to 7, you know, 7, 17, dropped by 50% in the last three months. We go back over the last six months, or basically since that come out, and it came out at $25. Look at now, $7, guys. This is absolutely crazy. This is not why I anticipate it to happen or expect to happen. But the pull rates are really easy to get some of these big top end cards. This is the downside when you have good pull rates. They can't hold their value. It becomes less desirable to buy booster boxes to crack open. And booster boxes of Obsidian Flames right now is super cheap. I mean, Black Friday sales have been going on for that and it is really cheap right now. So, yeah, good pull rates, cheap product, car prices are going to drop. Now we're on to the fish, the Magikarp. This is an example of where pull rates help boost price, rise the value of these cards. Now, Power Day Revolve is a cheap set to pick up right now. Like, you can pick up a box for under 90 quite comfortably. You know, even here in the UK, especially in Black Friday, I saw some places selling for 85 or less. You can pick it up really cheap. But like Paradox Rift, the pull rates are really tough. You know, they are tough. You get a nice volume, but it's just such a large set. Similar to like Fusion Strike, where it's really difficult to get the cards you want. So the fish is $69-70. And uh, to be honest, it's doing really well. It's the second most expensive card in the set. It might eventually become the most expensive. And it's just a normal illustration rare. This isn't a special illustration rare either. If you go back over the last six months, we can see this card really shoot up from 45 and now 70. That's really good going. And then since the set came out, I mean it shot up like crazy. Hype was real for this card. I mean it was crazy. And then it did drop. It kind of settled. Everyone was like, oh, okay, yeah, you know, packs are getting open, whatever. And now it's trickling back up to where it once was. Keep an eye on the fish, guys, from Paldera Evolved. Paldera Evolved actually has some good, valuable cards in it, even though the booster boxes are really cheap and really easy to get hold of, of course. But yeah, cards are holding good value in Paldera Evolved. On to a big boy drop in. We got the big boy Giratina from Lost Origin, the big OR. Now, this card was the second most expensive card in the Sword and Shield era behind the Moonbrook. Okay. It is now, I believe, third. It's now dropped down to third. I think the Rayquaza now from Evolving Skies has overtaken this card just because of how much this has dropped. Now, this isn't based on pull rates like we talked about the others. This is now based on reprints. This set has been reprinted recently and a lot of reprints already it is making the value of not just this card, but all of the cards in Lost Origin drop in value. Now, we're looking at $250, still a big money card. But in the past three months, we can see that it was $280 and it started to drop. We go back off the last six months and it had a high of $312 and is now less than $250, which is quite a big drop. If we look over the past year, it is the cheapest it has been over the past year. This card is very difficult to pull, but with reprints and people cracking open all these Lost Origin packs, some are getting found, some are getting pulled. Therefore, the value of this card is drop here. Now, Lost Origin Booster Boxes, I mean, their prices are what? Around 110, 120, pretty good deal. You get some Lost Origin, I still think it's a great pickup. But Giratina, taking a hit. Tell you what's not taking a hit is this Charizard. 151, honestly, guys, 151 has really surprised me. I thought that this set and the car prices would fall like crazy. But there's a few things that have been going on with it right now which has helped it. One is there just isn't enough supply to meet demand at the moment. This set has released a ton of product and you could still get product, you can still get ETBs and you can still pick up the UPCs and some collection boxes. But it's the pull rates. It's the pull rates are really tough. They are really tough. I mean, we have pulled this Charizard, I think twice now. Uh, we have opened up a lot of 151 to do that. But again, it's holding value. In fact, it's going up. In value we can see that over the past three months it's now 134 which is the highest it has ever been since it came out now it came out and it dropped which was anticipated you know we thought it was going to happen around 100 and then it went right back up to 130 
then it dropped back down again to 100 and then it slowly trickled up and now it's just shot straight back up to 135 the highest has been it's still the most expensive card in the scarlet and violet era we'll have to wait and see over time what is going to happen with this big boy zard but it's doing really well then we go on to astral radiance again sword and shield has been taking a massive hit the champ v i mean this has been dropping the or we're looking at 82 dollars for this card and you know over the past three months it was 90 so it hasn't dropped a huge amount but it has dropped now all of the cards in astral radiance have dropped it's interesting because astral radiance hasn't been reprinted unlike silver tempest lost origin i mean brilliant stars had a restock but astral radiance not really much so it's interesting it's dropping but i think they all are you know they're all just dropping across the board mainly because people are now opening up scarlet and violet hype is not as much Okay, it's having an impact right and we look over the last six months and this card was sitting nice over 100 and if you go back in the year you could really see that this card was doing well it was actually doing pretty decent it was one of the more valuable cards in the sword and shield era 125 down to 82 big drop huge drop we'll have to wait and see how things go with this card moving forward it will probably continue to drop in all honesty Astral Radiance isn't exactly an expensive set to get hold of either. Poor rates are not too bad. But yeah, big money card falling. All right, Entei's back again. This time, this is the V card from Crown Zenith. And this has followed suit to the V card we saw in Brilliant Stars. Now, this is $22 and it has shot up a fair amount recently, to be honest. I mean, it was it was a good card, nice card, beautiful card. And we look around 15 to 16 and then bang it went up to 25 and dropped a little bit we go back over the last six months look at this what's going on right we go back since the set came out and it did actually you know came out quite high at 26 and then more reprints of ground zenith so much stock around good pull rates having an impact on the value similar to obsidian flames and this is what we're, we're seeing with all of these cards playability takes into but playability is a factor and we saw that with the entei from brilliant now we see it from Crown Zenith. Beautiful card, jumped up. Now's a great time to offload them. I don't see it holding much value once it's no longer playable. So right now, good time, just like the V card to offload them. Let's talk about the flaming chicken, guys. KFC coming in, chilling rain. Look at the price of this, all right? 162. It was over $200. This card was a big money. I mean, still is big money, but real big money. And it has dropped over the past three months from 190 to 162. We go back six months. Look at that, guys. 220 it's dropped 60 dollars in the last six months that's a lot right we go back over the past year it is back to where it was look all that hard work that went into this card going up in price and look where it is now chin and rain booster boxes are getting harder and harder to get hold of they're going up and up and up each month that passes but the flaming chicken hey look he had his rain and he has fallen and it's still expensive but nowhere near as expensive as it was hey now's a great time really difficult to pull really difficult if you're missing this in your collection now might be a great time to nab one those are some cards for you guys from the skull and violet golden shield and sun and moon like i say sun and moon we saw misty's favor dropping interesting the real big spikes with the entays but now's a great time to offload them so not always buy 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 sometimes good time sell now as an example because you know some of you probably got some of them lying around i know i do i might look at just offloading some of them because uh, you know pretty good in value magic Carp doing really well as well but then we start to see fallers you know giratina the Blaziken, these big money cards. We're seeing things like the Machamp fall as well. And of course, that Misty's Favor. But then Charizard from 151, doing incredibly well. 151 across the board is doing incredibly well. And then the Iron Valiant from Paradox Rift. Paradox Rift is really doing better than I anticipated. The Roaring Moon's doing really well. Iron Valiant's doing really well. Keep an eye on Paradox Rift, guys, because I think a lot of those card prices, like how they evolved, will hold quite well but if you made it this far into the video guys and you've enjoyed it make sure to smash that like button and of course make sure to subscribe for more pokemon content we are on the road to 10,000 subscribers so definitely make sure to hit that subscribe button guys we can get there oh baby and if you want to know what's been going on with the sun and moon era booster boxes we talked about the single cards what about the booster boxes then make sure to click the video on the screen right now if you want to watch more pokemon content guys hey hit that subscribe button do it baby all right guys that's it for me in this video thank you all so much for watching you guys are legends in the next one